Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Fiddle and Violin. This month we're going to be looking at some bow rhythms. So we're going to be taking what we already know with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and adding a couple of different bow rhythms on top of the notes that we already know. take us into the realm of fiddle playing a little further and it's also something that gets taught a lot in the Suzuki violin method so uh, we're going to be looking at an exercise that happens in the Suzuki violin method with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and then we're also going to be taking a very common bow rhythm that's used in fiddle music particularly in old time and bluegrass fiddling which is what I mainly do and we're going to be playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with that bow rhythm. And that's really going to help us get ahead with fiddle music and uh, get us on track for playing some old time and bluegrass music, um, if that's what you're interested in. But we'll also be looking at uh, a rhythm that will help us with some sort of classical t bow technique as well. So we're going to look at two rhythms. The first rhythm is going to be called Mississippi Stop Stop. Uh, basically, that's just kind of like setting the rhythm to words. We're going to be doing Mississippi stop stop Mississippi stop stop like that and the stop is when we're going to be practicing a bow stroke called a stop bow Where we're going to stop at the beginning and end of the stroke and then we're going to be doing a bowing pattern called what that I call just basic shuffle. Some people call it Nashville shuffle as well. We're in Nashville here, so uh, that's fitting. <laughs> but that rhythm is basically just long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. And we're going to be making sure that we keep our bow flowing for that because that's the end game with, uh, with that bowing for fiddle music. So this is going to add another skill to your toolbox that we're creating. Um, we're not learning any new notes today, but we are diving into some bowing and learning a couple of new bow strokes. All right, let's get into it. Before we get started, I'll just remind you that it would really help me out if you could like this video on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't joined my Patreon community yet, there's almost a hundred different video lessons up there at the moment for you to check out and tons of other exclusive content. So check that out. It's patreon.com forward slash George Jackson. All right, back to it. Okay, first up we have Mississippi Stop Stop. Let's learn this bow stroke. So we're going to be starting out in our box position where you'll remember from one of our earlier lessons, we're kind of aiming to have our forearm parallel with the strings and making a, a bit of a square when we sort of bring all these lines together. We've got the bow, forearm, and then upper part of the arm, and then that line to the bow again is a little bit of a square shape, right? As we pull the bow down from there, it's all going to be movement from the elbow. So we're definitely not trying to move from the shoulder. So just keep that in mind and keeping the bow perpendicular to the bridge. Okay, so keeping all that in mind, we have our rhythm Mississippi stop stop. So it's going to be four short bows like this. One, two, three, four, followed by two stopped bows. So that means we start in a stopped position and then we end in a stopped position. Like that. So we have Mississippi stop. So you'll notice that the stopped bows, the two at the end, the longer notes, they have a sort of pronounced uh, staccato ending. Okay, practice this rhythm along with me. Remember that we can kind of say the words Mississippi stop stop along with 
the bow stroke. I'm going to put the metronome on at 50 beats per minute and we're going to do that along just on the open A string. Um, just as a point of interest, I have my five string fiddle here today. So if you're looking at my strings and you're a little confused as to what string I'm on, it's because there's an extra one. There's a low C on this one. I'm getting used to playing my five string again at the moment, so I'm practicing on it. Uh, but the strings are E, A, D, G, and then the lower C note, which is also the string that's on a viola. Um, so this is kind of a hybrid instrument. All right, 50 beats per minute. There it is. Let's practice just on the open string, Mississippi stop stop. Three, four. Okay, let's have a little zoom in on the stopped bow for a little second. When we have our bow stopped on the strings, you should be able to grip the string and kind of wiggle it a little bit. If you're pressing with your forefinger to create some tension on the string, if you can wiggle the string a little bit, and then you're going to release that tension into a downward bow stroke and stop the bow a little further up. Now, the bow doesn't come off the strings, it just stops, and you've just pushed, put that tension back on with your forefinger. So it's kind of like you release the tension, and then you stop the bow by pressing that forefinger down again. Okay, so that's it a stopped bow. And it's a good technique to be able to get used to. I'm always in favor of having all of the technique at your disposal if you need it. Okay, now we're gonna put this bow stroke with the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. One, two, three, four. Okay, great work. It's a little bit tedious, I know. We know this tune um, really well, and so it's not you know, particularly exciting or interesting, but this is really good stuff, uh, really good practice for our bow technique, and it's really gonna help us uh, really get to where we wanna be, I think, um, with our violin or fiddle playing. So um, good on you for persevering through this. Um, Let's move on to the second bow stroke. 
This is our more of a fiddle bow stroke. This will be really, really helpful if you want to get into playing fiddle music. Um, I know fiddlers that basically use this bow stroke almost exclusively. So you can be a great fiddler with basically just this bow stroke if you uh, get the feel right with it. So I think it's a really great, uh, really great bow technique to get used to. Um, and certainly um, doing it this early on in your uh, exploration of violin or fiddle playing I think will be super beneficial for you. So let's get into it. This is basic shuffle or Nashville shuffle. Okay, basic shuffle goes like this. Long, short, short, long, short, short. So it's a down bow followed by two quick bows up, down, and then we're gonna do an up bow, slightly longer, and then two quick strokes down and up, right? So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's kind of the same pattern played twice to make one full rotation of this pattern. We've got down, down bow lead, and then up bow lead. But it's the same rhythm, right? Down and uh, up and uh, down. We're also gonna try and not do the stop bowing that we've just been practicing on this one. We're gonna sort of try and play through the notes. because that's a much more sort of fiddle player approach. Um, we're gonna keep the bow moving right until we change the direction. Okay, let's just try that on the open A string with the metronome at 50 beats. Okay, it's gonna be a little quicker. Let's try it, here we go. Two, a one, and a two, and a. Okay, great stuff. Okay, let's put that bow rhythm to the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So each note of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star gets its own long short short pattern, right? So we have two A's followed by two E's and that's gonna end up with a long short short long short short and then Okay, so let's try it together. I'll put the metronome on and we'll play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with our basic shuffle. And we're gonna sort of turn it into a little bit of a fiddle tune. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, one, and a two, and a. Okay, great stuff. I hope you enjoyed working on those bow patterns with me. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next month.